From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Kenya, a nation in the midst of rapid transformation. With a growing population of more than 40 million people, it's one of the fastest developing economies in Africa. But 75% of Kenyans do not have regular access to electricity. To meet their pressing energy needs, some people here may have found a solution in the Great Rift Valley. This volcanic rift was formed by the slow splitting of the African continent. Heat from the Earth's core escapes through the opening, creating hot springs and steam fields. Now we're in Olkaria, and this is where uh, we have the geothermal power plants, the biggest plant in Africa. Geophysicists like Anna Wairimu Mwangi keep track of the hot water and steam deep under the ground. Along Olkaria, we use several geophysical methods to try and find places where we can locate the wells for drilling, for steam, to be connected to the power plants. There are three geothermal plants in Olkaria. Highly pressurized steam comes out of 20 wells and is directed through a system of pipes toward the turbines. The system generates about 200 megawatts, or 17% of electricity produced in Kenya. And that's just a fraction of the estimated 10,000 megawatts of Kenya's untapped geothermal energy potential, which, if fully utilized, could power millions more homes. But the Great Rift Valley is also home to the Hell's Gate National Park. Some worry about the free movement of animals being disturbed by the network of pipes and roads from the nearby plants. And drilling requires the use of large quantities of water, sometimes taken from protected wetlands. To minimize the environmental impact, the company has restored and reforested the area surrounding geothermal wells after drilling. The power plants re-inject the byproduct geothermal water into the ground. Drilling engineer Siche Chemwote. The best way is to re-inject it back into the, the reservoir that can be heated back and we can possibly use it back after a certain period of time. 